Hey everybody, this is Dean Webb with Networking-Forums.com. I'd like to continue with uh, how to protect those networks. I've covered free stuff. Now I want to cover stuff that would be uh, kind of a low-cost solution here. It may involve uh, gear you already have or gear that you could get, and it's just like one of it. So should be okay, right, with your budget. Um, what I want to talk about here is no default outbound route. Okay, now if you're not a geek, obviously this means nothing to you, but if you are a geek, you're going like, what? Why would you want no default outbound route? Why would you want it to be where I can't get on the internet from my network? That sounds kind of dumb. Okay, what you're going to want is an internet connection you have there, and you're going to want a proxy server. Now, you actually don't have a default route outbound to the internet. You have a default outbound route, outbound route to your proxy server. So it's not really an a outbound route. It's got one more hop, that proxy, and then it gets out. And you don't need to tell everybody. Well, I mean, basically, what this does is it forces all internet-bound traffic through that proxy. And that could also force it through your IPS and your firewall, things like that. Now, obviously, if somebody creates a, a route that goes through a clandestinely created uh, internet connection point, this is going to go around it, and you have to be on the alert for that. And so that's the previous video uh, with the free stuff, Hacking Your Cities Part 1, where we talk about searching for outside traffic on your network. But this is going to assume you've got that in place. You, 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 you got it pretty well hardened up. Now we want to be able to... Uh, force all the traffic through that proxy server. Okay, so what this does, what this does is, one, it'll annoy everybody who's not expecting to use a proxy server for their internet connection, and at this point you tell the developers, this is how you have to do it to be secure. And if you remember also from the last video, you need to have something on a whiteboard or a sign somewhere that says, we want security, and you point to that. We want security, right? Use the proxy. Use the proxy. Beat that drum. Because what's going to happen, and here's how you explain why that's a good thing. Because let's say uh, we have malware from evilplace.com. Gets on the network. Somebody opened that email and downloaded the malware, and your anti-malware system can't stop it because that's just how email works. It's so bad. So, they got the malware, and the malware's going, <laughs> Now, if I can just contact my command and control server, I will infect the network. <laughs> I need to get to... And then it gives an IP address. Because it doesn't want to give necessarily a DNS, a uh, fully qualified domain name, because that might have to go through a DNS filter. People are doing that. Uh, and I can talk about that at another time, too. So it'll say, I just want to go to an IP address. And come on, don't we all know developers love those hard-coded IP addresses? They love them as much as the network guys do. I, I, I always found it ironic when I tell a developer, always use a hard, you know, you're always using hard-coded IP addresses. You should do, use DNS. And then I look at my switch config, and I got a lot of hard-coded IP addresses in there. <laughs> so yeah, anyway. Do as I say, not as I do. But yeah, so anyway. So these malware developers, they'll use an IP address, also because these tend to slip through the logs. It doesn't, you know, 12.13.14.15 doesn't really say badplace.com or whatever it looks like an IP address. I don't know. I can't filter for that. So it's saying, all right, I want to go to that IP address. Now, if you have a default outbound route, whoop, out it goes. And it contacts the command and control, downloads more payload begins infecting all your other systems, moo ha 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 evil laughter. But if it has to go through the proxy, hits the proxy, the proxy says, hello, I need you to authenticate yourself. And it goes, I am evil malware. Why do I need that? I have no other authentication. I need it. I don't have it. I'm sorry, sir. I can't let you use the internet today. But I, 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 good day, sir. There's other packets waiting for you. Good day. Bye. We're going to have to drop you. <laughs> That's a dramatization. I don't think it actually sounds like that, but it, I wish it did. Yeah, it can't authorize with a proxy, so whoosh, out it goes. And even if 
you don't have authorization required, it'll still say, like, you know, I want to go out to this web place, and if the proxy server has a uh, blacklist on there, maybe the first time this malware site's used, it'll get through, but subsequent times, it'll get added to the blacklist. And then you have the conversation, I would like to use the internet. Okay, one moment, sir. Let me check my blacklist. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. You're on the blacklist. I'm going to have to drop your packet, but no! And again, it's gone. This no default outbound route is going to help so much because it does not allow the malware to get out. It goes to a black hole. It can't get out of your network. It can't contact the command and control server. Okay, now malware that has its own command and control or is able to deliver its own payload. Okay, well, it got passed. And malware that's able to go out a different route. Okay, he got us there too. But remember, this is about multiple layers, multiple types of defenses. This is not like saying, you know, someone saying, well, I got all my guns to protect my house. And someone says, well, your guns are useless. Somebody could use poison. Uh, okay. No, 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 no. I mean, you know, whatever protection you've got, you've got. You may need additional protection for that other vector, and you use a different system for that. We're not going to make this no default outbound route work for all bad things. It's going to work for some of them, and the some that it works for are very effective. I've been at a place before where one part of the company had no default outbound route, and the other part of the company had one. The malware hit. The one with no default outbound route the guys weren't weren't infected, and they, yes, they did have a little firewall and IPS action going between the part that had no outbound route and the part that did. The part that had the outbound route, whoosh, they got the infection. The part with, no problem. I mean, yes, there were people who downloaded the malware, and it spread because people were downloading. It was a big phishing attack, but it, it couldn't do anything once it got downloaded. Where there was no default outbound, or no default outbound route, but where there was a default outbound route, uh, funny story that the same sort of thing happened because the the one that had no default outbound route also had an IPS in protection mode. It was inline, and the other one just said, "No, we only want IDS because we just want to detect and alert. We don't want to drop any packets." Well, guess what happened? The worm did not propagate because the IPS said, oh, that's a bad packet. You can't go anywhere. And I dropped it because it was in line. And the one with the IDS kept detecting, oh, there's a worm. There's another worm. Got a found. Oh, there goes another one. Oh, look at him. Here's a worm. Wow, oh, this whole place getting infected. There's a worm. It just sent off so many alerts, the thing croaked. <laughs> the, queue, the queue got overloaded, man. And so, yeah, but that's another story there. No default outbound route is the title of this video. So. Go home to your networks, set it up so all the internet traffic has to go through the proxy server. If you don't have a proxy server, get one. Get the budget for it. Let people know this is how it can be done. Have some kind of filter there. At the very least, just have it forced through something and, and, and just some kind of thing that could be used to filter. It'll be better than nothing. And remember, every little bit helps. But get a proxy server, find one that's right-sized for your company, and use it. Use the darn thing. Okay? Just do it. Anyway, I'm Dean Webb for Networking-Forums.com, and you're always welcome to come by our website where there's a lot of really smart people ready to give you a lot of really good advice. See you next time.